All right. Hello? <laughs> Sometimes, I swear. All right, be right back. Okay, let's duel. Welcome back to Daily Duels. So today is Friday, and that of course means that we are using Shadal's. And how, do Daniel, how does Daniel feel about Shadal's? I still don't really like the deck, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, do it. All right. Oh, it looks like we're going against uh, Nuff, Nuff, Nuff Cloth, Nuff Crows or whatever. So let's see that. No. Yep, Necros. Alright. We'll see if I can compete with Necros. At least I don't have to worry about going, you know, Trish. You know. Necros Necros are another deck I like to go second. They're another deck I like to go second. They're pretty they're pretty much like a kind of a virtual version of Shadal. They don't run any back rows, so they're probably gonna run Deco Seca. You know, they'd rather go second to go ahead and hit you uh, with that uh with that Trish. So, um, you know. There you go. So my Deco Seca is not that useful right now, I must say. Anyway, go ahead and play out of Darkness, draw two cards, hopefully see into the future. Um uh, uh who do I need right now? I don't need I don't really need beast in my hand. Yeah, I can get rid of you. Then uh I put an upstart. I I I had an executive decision on myself to think that you know what, it might be best to go ahead and play a card like um like upstart so I can get to my cards quicker. Yeah. This is a very aggressive deck, so you know, generally this deck would like to get to its cards quicker. You know, you know if I can if I can keep on getting down my deck and hopefully get into my fusions, that's what I need to get to. I need to get to my fusions. If I can't get to my fusions, then we're gonna have a bad time because this deck kinda sucks without its fusions, you know. So this guy over here can search for his rituals and, and ritual spell cards and his ritual monsters. Me on the other hand, I you know unless I get a hedgehog, I ain't searching. You know, so there you go. Uh, I could go for Yazi right now, but you know, what would be the point? I can go for Yazi, but then what the fuck would Yazi do? You know, I'm trying to think, you know, he could easily trish me next turn and I wouldn't have anything to say about it, you know. I might be best just to go ahead and push, but you know. You know, he's I am mathematician, mathematician, summon, you know, summon, uh, uh, what's her name? Felice, and go for a Yazi or Black Rose, but Black Rose is not necessary right now, and Yazi is, will just get, I, I will, not only will I can, I can't get banished by the Trish. Is Trish target? I think it's target. I can get, I can get banished by the Trish. I can't get banished by the Trish, but I definitely can get ran over by that Trish, because that thing is freaking, uh, uh, 27. Well, I'm only 26, so take the duel slow. You know, if I get trished, I get trished, so, you know. I'd rather hold on to the Regeki and risk him pitching something out of my hand that's not Regeki. So, you, this is the Regeki, I can go for Black Rose. If he doesn't, then I can, you know, I can hold on to both of them. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to play this cautiously. Deco Sack is not really that good in this duel. Alright, there's the mirror. You no, know, is it Trish time? If it's Trish time, it's Trish time. Yeah, it looks like it's Trish time. No? Maybe? Yeah, it's Trish time, see? So, you know, it's Trish time, it's Trish time. That's all I gotta say about that. So, there really been no point in me going into, um, into, uh, fuck. Into Yazi at all. That's fine. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm gonna be talking about my day at college. You know, I only go to class Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I might as well talk about, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, because why not, right? Yep. Preparation of rights is so powerful. Like preparations if you're if you're gonna hit this deck, you know, it doesn't need to be, you know, it it's not the guy who protects from being targeted or something. Any person you just gonna target it. Oh, it can't be destroyed by battle by card effects. Oh, alright, so So I would have to fucking hit you This turn. Wow, so it just says this turn period. See, this deck searches too much. Searches way too much. You know, you play mistake on their asses, and bam, you know? So, you know, definitely sighted mistake wouldn't be terrible. Mm-hmm. After I got 5,000 of my life points. Maybe even more. This deck, uh, that's all I gotta say. This deck searches way too much, as you can clearly see. <clears throat> 
you know. <clears throat> so if this deck starts topping, I don't think it's going to be tier zero like, uh, you know, like a couple of people are saying how it is going to be at OCG because, you know, we're much more back row. We're, not, we're much more uh, uh, passive with back row. You know, we're not as aggressive in OCG land. So, you know, we'll, you know, oh, here in TCG land, we'll want the shit out of you with back row. So it's interesting that he switched Gunnir. So Gunnir can protect him, which sucks because, you know, I would love to go ahead and just get his ass, but. Oh, I still can get his ass, actually. You know, he can only protect one of them, so. And then the other one, I can simply just 101. I am running like 101, right? Yeah, I'm running 101. It's good. Oh. One of them's getting regekied. Alright, so you're gonna protect him. Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and go Mathematician to Yazi and run your ass over. Yeah, that seems like a fine play. I'm trying to keep up. Yeah. Now I want to test this deck. I want to see. Uh, go ahead and summon Felice for me. Well, send Felice, and Felice will summon herself. Oh, right. It can't be destroyed by Battle by Card Effect this turn, period. Ooh. I'll still go for Yazi, but. That's pretty good, you know. Usually you only get one protection. You got some back row for me? I'd say. I'd say you don't play back row. No, you don't play back row. I forgot you searched that. Completely forgot you searched that. That was totally my bad. Alright, well, I lost the stool. You would have had it anyway. You would have had it anyway. Hmm. I mean, can I even summon you? Yeah, I can special summon you at least. My bad, I totally forgot. He searched for the decisive armor. I said this deck searches so much that there's really not much to say about it. Yeah. Search me for you. What's to say? Can I get a little bit of fusion in here? Please. Alright. Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and activate it. Yeah, fuck it. I don't need Dagoseka. No. Definitely don't need Dagoseka. So you got something? Like, seriously, finally I get to a fusion. Hello? On you two, like this deck. This is a bad matchup, though. This, this, this is you know, there's a reason why uh, Shadal's kind of fell off. Probably Road to Creek. No, just an MST. All right, it doesn't matter. Think about maybe running more of this and actually making it an engine because right now I'm only using one of him and cause it kind of seems like it's not the best. A bad matchup, you know. He doesn't special summon the extra deck. I can't really utilize my fusions correctly, you know. Uh, I'd say the only way it's not a bad matchup is at least I don't have to have a way about back row. But ban the Trish banishing, you know, it's a pretty bad matchup, I must say. Uh, so if I lose, I just know that you know, should always I just know naturally you know should always have a bad matchup, you know. Burning Abyss would probably crush this deck though, you know. They, they're gonna have to run Dekoseka. The problem is that. The thing with Denko Saka and Shadol is that they're really strong and they can, they're fast and they can OTK. This deck, eh, not so much. So, yeah. But I just know this deck searches a lot, so, you know, main decking or side decking mistake, you know, you're definitely going to be seeing that. So, that's going to be a thing. You know, preparation of rights, I said. You know, if there's any any card, you don't have to hit, really have to hit Manager or Sanger, those cards are slow. But, preparation of rights. That card is literally like, Straight up, just bam, instant freaking fusion. So, yeah, it should be uh, it should be preparation of rights, if anything. No, yeah. opponent here's got it. I got no, I got no resources. So, it was a terrible matchup. Terrible matchup. I know I got more than three, or less than three. One, two. Yeah, because I summoned 
Yep, because I summoned. If I didn't summon, I would have had exactly three. Wow. Yep, that's game. You got it. I'll go ahead and get one more duel in. I'm not salty. I knew that was a bad matchup. Bear right back. Alright, let's try this again. This person has a pretty high rating, so... Probably to assume that he's using at least a meta deck. Anyway, let me go ahead and just talk about my day. My Thursday. So, of course, I have, uh... I have my calculus. I have calculus, and I have, uh... Uh, algebra. I know. Heroes. Oh, alright. Oh. He is most definitely gonna get his search on. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Then you just set it, set some background. It's using heroes, interesting. So, this is a pretty bad matchup for me. But the problem, the only problem with your plan is. Yanko Seka? You got that solemn warning? Nope, BAM! Woo! Denko Seka! <laughs> ah! Woo! Denko Seka is a boss ass bitch! <laughs> she handled that shit! <laughs> He's like, no! I can't play my match chain second! Yeah, yeah, you should play them preemptively, but sometimes it's hard to tell. You know, I would have immediately activated during the standby phase, immediately. Especially with Denko Seka running around. Like, yeah. Yeah, that would have been uh, the best choice. Uh, I can go ahead and go into what's his face. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Use you two. I don't have to worry about you know him summoning, 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 summoning. Hello, summoning uh, Dark Law anymore. So, thank Osaka. You're such a boss ass bitch. Too bad he didn't get solemn warning. You know, if he would have got some morning, we might have had a, we might have had a bad time. You know, he probably would have beat me. You know, but because he didn't, it's awesome. Now I think I might have won this duel because of Deku Seka. Deku Seka is a boss ass bitch. I swear. Ah, uh, don't activate up start. Well, I can't finish him, so you know what? I'll go ahead and give you some light points. All right. I was hoping that I was gonna go ahead and draw into a, uh, and draw into a Shadow monster. So I can activate a layer of darkness, but it's cool. Anyway, calculus class, calculus three. Oh, he's gonna run over my bitch. And I can't even play the. F I can't even set the fucking uh, uh, Shadal fusion. That sucks. That's one of the problems with the, with Denka Seka. You know, but at least I don't have to worry about Dark Law right now because he's gonna have to summon the aliens to attack over me. So he's gonna have to definitely slow it down. That sucks that he can simply just summon an alias and run over my Denka Seka. Another deck with high searchability, heroes. Oh, he's just gonna take my Denka Seka. Alright. Now I got Alert of Darkness. Oh. Yep, it's shining. And there's alias. <laughs> I have a problem with you killing my windows, I'm going to get my fusion back. But I wonder if you really got some background to stop me. I know you don't have warning, at least, because you would have definitely warning my ass. That's Snatch Deal, though. And I got Lure, so... The number generator is interesting, indeed. Interesting, indeed. Yes. Got two discard one. Uh, discard fusion. I don't need two fusions right now. Ah, I can go for another window. That, that's great. So you're the one that banishes the light, right? Yeah. I don't have any lights, so you're not even that useful right now. So I'll go ahead and play up. Uh, I mean, alert. I have to worry about Dark Wall. Unless he goes like Call the Haunted and Mass Change or something like that. Ooh. The problem is that he, he can freaking Mass Change his monster. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, I don't need you. Go for fucking Shikinaga though. Let's 
with that. I'm I'm curious. I'm curious to know if he's running uh, uh, Kamikaze. It's ka is it Kamikaze? No, it's the, it's the light one. I forgot his name. I'm curious. You gonna match change him? If you match change him, I'll miss my snatch deal, so. And you would get your Dark Walk. I mean, your Shadow Miss back. Oh, you just got the MST. Oh, alright. Damn. This guy's just having the answers to every single one of my plays. Fine. Yes. Go ahead and tribute you. Give me my fusion back. Play my fusion. Simple as that. I'm trying to stay in this duel, but god, this is difficult. He's he's having some answers. Like, every time I do something, he's just like, this? Like, help. Yeah, vanities? You got it? You got the vanities? I know you got a mass change. I know... I don't know two of your cards. You have a mysterious factor of two right now. Of course we're gonna go into Construct. Uh, we'll go ahead and send Eclipse Wyvern. And we'll go ahead and send Squamata. Now I'm wishing I didn't banish my dragon, but it's cool. If I didn't banish my, dra my dragon, I would have the Dark on play right now. But I did, because I'm bad, and I don't know how to play Shadals correctly. Ah. Uh... Wonder which one of these is the mass change. I'll show that one. Is that the mass change? Nope, call the haunted. Alright, then this is the mass change. Alright, so uh now I only don't know uh I know this, 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 and I just don't know one card in his hand and the card that he's gonna draw, I don't know. So that's chill. I'll just try to go ahead and kill him. He will go ahead and grab back Shadow Mist. The only problem with that is that I'm already stronger than your uh, than your Dark Law. So so he's, he's, he's mysterious factor of two right now. It's two cards I don't know. Summer Monk. Ah, uh, we'll send. Ah, uh, we'll send you two. Yeah. So. Actually, I should have activated that when you activated the summoner monk effect. That was my bad. I'm bad. Fuck! Oh. Okay. That's fine. I'm still perfectly fine. Yep, go ahead and give me that back. So, it'd be best if you take your Exiton and crash it into my window. That would be the best choice for you to do right now. Nope, you didn't do it. You should have done that! <laughs> Like, hello? <laughs> you should have done that. I'm going to tell you right now, you should have done that. Because if you want to crash your Exiton into my window, you can't, what does it say? You can't, you can't do any further damage. You can still attack. You should have crashed your Exiton in my window, because if you would have done that, then I wouldn't even be able to play the fusion from my deck. So, I'm bad, but my opponent here is kind of worse. So, yeah, we'll go for Shikinaga. Send you from the deck. And we'll go ahead and send... Uh, yeah, I'll send you from the deck. Oh, yep, you messed up. Hedgehog, go ahead and give me a Shadal Monster, really doesn't matter. So when I attack, yeah, he's gonna activate Exiton, and then I will negate him. I really don't have any lights in the graveyard? Hello? 
Fine, I'll just have to be foolish and put a light in the graveyard. Shit, I don't care. Could have swore I had dunk a second in the graveyard. Yeah, he must have surrender. I won. Yep. Are you the one that summons the dart? Oh, I can only special summon once per turn, so window is like, you know, you can't special summon. My bad. My bad. It's cool, though. No, it's cool, though. I could have normal summoned. I could have normal summoned. I would attack. You would have been like, oh, Exiton effect, because you have more cards than me. I would be like, uh, negate, and then you would have died. Attack, 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 game. So, there you go. There you go. It would been the same end results anyway. So, like I said, that's the problem with Dark Claw. Dark Claw has a uh, problem with authority figures. Once I summon that construct, you know, the struggle is already on. Now, it's a problem. Uh, I guess I. Uh, Yes, I won't, you know what, I'm going to quickly just tell you about my day, because my day is not that long. So I have Calculus, I have, uh, uh, Algebra. Calculus, uh, literally, it was just, uh, we walk into class, and teacher's like, hey, I'm going to have surgery today, so class is not only ending early, but I'm going to be gone for a week. So it's like, oh, what a great way to begin Calculus 3. So we had our first lesson in Calculus 3. 3D, yep, 3D. That's what the 3 in Calculus 3 says, or it says for fucking 3D. We throw that Z-axis in there, and all of a sudden, it's just like, pff, like, it's hard to have wrap my head around this 3D shit, you know, so it's like, oh, what if you have this and a line and a plane and a, and a sphere and all this stuff and interacting with each other and all that, and, you know, here's the new uh, distance formula, and, you know, it's just, uh, it's craziness, it's craziness, uh, so, uh, class is only an hour long, I sat next to the girl who I brought up in the last, in, you know, on Wednesday's video, I still haven't come up with a name for her, but I'm not sure if I'll be talking about her much longer, because I haven't explained why, um, so, uh, you know, class ends, we get our homework, uh, and because class ends an hour early, and not only is it an hour before my next class, but an hour before her next class, she's like, oh, well, you know, she's like, leaving, I'm like, she's like, oh, bye, and I'm just like, you know, we walk the same direction, you know, you want to walk here? She's like, oh, yeah, sure. So, uh, you know, we're walking the same direction, and she was like, oh, yeah, I forgot, we have an hour before class. She's like, what should we do? I'm just like, I don't know. I'm like, do you got anything to do? She's like, no, not really. And she's like, she's like, where can we go? I'm like, oh, you can go to the B building, and we can go to the computer lab. She's like, oh, yeah, the computer lab. Just somewhere, somewhere quiet, we can work, you know? So, she's like, we can work on our math homework. Like, okay, sure, fine. So, we head to the computer lab, start working on math homework. So, I'm working on math homework. She's working on math homework. She's asking me questions. I'm answering them, you know? And, uh, she's like, uh, well, I'm not getting the reception here. I gotta make a phone call. So, like, okay. So, she's she's like, I'll be right back. But she picks up her shit. You know, I'll be right back. But she picks up her shit. I know. Picks up her shit. She leaves. She never comes back. Awesome. You know. Well, that's cool. Yeah. If you didn't want to be bothered with me, you could simply just say, Hey, I don't want anything to do with you. But women are like that. Women are conniving. I swear to God. You know, women work on emotion. Men work on logic. Logically, you don't want to be bothered with someone. Tell them. Bitches? Women? <laughs> yeah, they they don't care. Uh, they care about hurting your feelings, but only your immediate feelings. You know, once they're out of their vicinity, once, once they're out of sight, once they're out of sight, out of mind, they don't give two fucks. You know, so she didn't, she clearly, she didn't want to be bothered with me. It's just totally fine. You know, I'm totally used to it. But the thing is, like, you don't have to be like that. You know, you didn't have to lie to my face. Like, oh, I'm getting, you know, I'm going to make a phone call. I'll be right back. You know, you not that. You, you could have just simply said, no. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be bothered with you. I've been like, okay, that's cool. That's true. You know? So, I literally just sat in the computer lab by myself like a fucking loner for like the next, I'd say, 45 minutes working on a math homework. All right. Then it was time for cal I mean, for algebra. So, I go to algebra class. I bust out my calculus book, start working my homework. I'm like, what, what can we possibly do that I don't know? You know? And then he was like, it's time for algebra. You guys ready? And he was like, X plus 2 equals 5. Oh, shit. Like, oh, what's up for X? No. <laughs> yeah. So, you're just sitting there doing, like, the most basics of algebra. You know, just the most simple shit. And then he was like, oh, oh, oh I'm going to throw a polynomial up in there. Oh, shit. You got a factor. <gasps> I've never done that before. <laughs> you know, like literally, he would write a problem on the board, and I would look up, see it, work on my, my work on my calculus homework for a little while longer. You know, while well, he works on our problems with the student, then I would open up my. I, I know I have a college algebra notebook. Like hello, but I I do that for you know my math classes. I I'll do a notebook. Opened it up, wrote down the problem, busted out the problem before he even finished it with the class. Closed the notebook. Push it away, work out my calculus. I actually finished my calculus homework in that class, you know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Class ends like 20 minutes early because for some odd reason he just doesn't want to teach the full length, which is fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So, there you go. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of, uh, I mean, well, I still gotta work more with Shadal's. Um, I'm liking the Upstart Goblins, you know. Uh, you know, some Shadal, Shadal players are doing that enemy controller thing. I'm not really liking that. You know, I'm not really feeling that. I kind of feel like you should run the Upstart Goblins. You need to get to the fusions as quick as possible. You, your deck is really anticlimactic when I have the fusions, but it's really not worth it. You know, probably something like, well, you need to get to the fusions faster, right? Run, you know, you need more fusions. Run, you know, Neftodal fusions. Neftodal fusions is the butt. Like, that's a bad card. Like, you know, and that's the reason, that's one of the key reasons why, um, uh, uh, Teller Knights have kind of, kind of put on par and kind of surpassed Shadal's as, you know, one of the top decks because what did, what did, you know, what did fucking, uh, Teller Knights get in the last pack in Secret of Eternity? Fucking Diamond, like, the fucking Antichrist of Shadal's. Wow. What did Shadal's get? They got fucking Nefshadal Fusion, which is the worst fusion in all of them. And they got fucking Wendigo, which is the worst freaking fusion monster out of all of them. So, ass. They got ass support, you know? Like, you can pretty much tell that Shadal's are pretty much on their last leg. This is pretty much it. They're, 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 they're pooping out. It's done. This is it. So, uh, you know. What are they going to get next? Are they going to get some fusion? Well, they got a normal spell. They got a quick play spell. And they got an equip spell. So, I say, what? A continuous spell that you can fuse every turn? You just, you know, you, act, you have it on the field. It's like, as long as this card's on the field, you can keep fusion once per turn. You know? You can only activate this card once per turn. You can fuse from your, you know, from your hand in your side of the field every turn. So you would have a fusion card on the field every single turn. You'd be able to fuse every turn. That's what I see. That's so that's probably, maybe, that's your fusion card in your water monster, which is pretty much a zero priest. So I'd say, and you know, it's probably like a beater, maybe like, uh, I don't know, maybe like 20, maybe 25, 27, you know, 25, 27 attack. And they can attack all special summon monsters. Just your special summon monster attack, your special summon monster attack. That's the summon wall, except with only special summon monsters. There you go. But I don't see Shadal's getting much of anything left, so, you know. And neither of only those two cards would really help them compete against, you know. Unless the monster is like 2,900, you know. I just don't see it. I don't see, I don't see them really competing with, um, with Telenites. And they're already falling behind, you know. So, there you go. But, you know, I need to practice more with Shadal's. Maybe tweak it. You know, I'm liking the dragons. I like the dragons, but it's kind of just like I'm running one of the one dragon that banishes, uh, the, the light, but only, you know, dark, you know, so I'm thinking about maybe running more of that one, the dark dragon, so I can banish more lights, because they can banish his own dragon, you know, I can keep the, you know, the loop going, you know, so, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, call it an episode, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Heraldics with, uh, Omega Chaos and Slate, alright guys, thanks for watching.